If you're one of the owners of the Galaxy S4, you probably are wondering why the phone lags and slows down every now and then, considering that the phone is packed with heaps of great new internal components like the latest quad-core processor for example. Well mainly it's because of the latest TouchWiz which packs with heaps of new features from motion and gestures to applications. So in this video I'll be showing you how you can speed up your Galaxy S4. So the first thing we need to do is to turn off the S Voice shortcut. Now for those of you that didn't know about the shortcut, the default setting is that you'll have to press the home button twice. Now you will notice that you'll experience delays and lag whenever you are going back to your home screen. And that is because your phone gets confused whether if you want to go back to the home screen or not. So to turn this off, open the S Voice, tap the settings button, press setting on the menu, and then untick the box where it says open via the home key. The next thing we're gonna be doing is one of the most popular tricks, I guess, not just for Samsung phones, but for Android devices in general, and that is to turn off the animations in the developer options. When you first buy your Galaxy S4, you won't be able to find the developer options. You will have to actually scroll down and tap the build number seven times for it to be enabled. So once it's enabled, you'll have to go back to the tab and then tap the developer's option, scroll down and select window animation scale and select animation off. Now you'll have to do the same step for transition animation scale and animator duration scale. Last but not the least is that we're going to be turning off all the gestures, motion, and smart features on the Galaxy S4. Now, all these features are killing the phone's performance. My best recommendation is to turn off all these features if you're not going to be using them. To turn these features off, simply go to the settings page, tap the My Device tab, Motions and Gestures, turn off all the related features. Now, you're going to have to do the same steps for Smart Screen as well as Air View. All right, so there you have it, guys. Those are just some of the ways that you can do to improve the speed of the S4. And I know there's heaps out there, so just leave it in the comment section down below because you're also gonna be helping others. And you know, for such a powerful phone, I know that this shouldn't happen. Now, thank you all for watching. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'm Jens Garcia, and I'll see you all in the next one.